in order to become a professional ballerina. At the end of the year, we start auditions for companies. We start auditions at the end of January, and that goes all the way to March. And I just really hope this next audition season goes well. We're spending four hours in the studio with 100 dancers, all fighting for the same job. Most of us are here at the School of American Ballet because we want to be part of the New York City Ballet. And since Peter Martins runs New York City Ballet, he's kind of making the final decision about your future. Last year, Peter Martins hired early so that they could go and do Nutcracker. So all of us were kind of like, oh, I wonder if he's going to hire this year. So then when he came in, all of us, our stomachs dropped. We were like, oh, he's looking. When I select people for the company as apprentices, I don't have scientific answers, it's all instinctual. This one and that one is a little more ready now, and they're ready to be thrown into the back line of a 95-member company, more so than those two. Two, and. I need to make sure that I'm pointing my feet, straightening my legs, using my arms and hands and head correctly. Knowing where you're placing your feet, making sure that you hit positions the correct way. You always want a lean line, good feet, flexibility, and strength for partnering. I need to work on my arms, make every movement look as big as possible, and I'm trying my hardest. After class, they called me into the office and they told me that I got my apprenticeship, which was very exciting. I almost started to cry, but I was like, no, I can't cry. I cannot cry in front of the teachers. We can't do this. I could cry right now. <laughs> we got our apprenticeships and then she told us that we had rehearsal that night for Nutcracker. So at three o'clock, we went to rehearsal. I'm like really excited. You guys to start performing. I know, it'll be fun. I'm so happy. Thank you. It's a taxi. <laughs> it would take like five. We started performing two weeks ago and it's been very surreal. Like on the first night during bows, I stood there and I looked up at the fourth ring and I was like, that's where I stood three months ago watching this company and the fact that I'm here on stage now. Very, very surreal. I love it. It's so weird to me every time we walk to the theater. Yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> I came here with the goal to get into New York City Ballet, and the fact that my goal has been achieved, it still hasn't really hit me. It's 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 amazing. How a few weeks can change everything. <laughs> What I've learned over the past couple of years is that you really just can't give up. Like if you want it, you have to commit to it and make sure that you keep wanting it. I'm so happy that Mimi and Jackie both got into the company. It reminds you, you definitely want to be as the best dancer that you can. I hope I find a job, whether that be City Ballet, I can only cross my fingers and try my hardest every day. Whether or not I come back for a second year of training, I want to make sure that I'm just having fun. Our number one place would be in New York City Ballet. Since we're here at one of the best schools, then we have a lot of options to go to. I have no idea what next year is going to bring me because I didn't expect any of this to be happening this year, so it seems like there might always be a surprise.